Hello guys and welcome to the video. I know a new video after almost two months. I've been really busy in the last two months so I haven't got any time to record a new video for you so I finally got a little bit of time so I said to myself let's record a video for you. <laughs> so yeah let's begin with the video. So today we're doing a stick attacks to a moving object, uh, a similar video we did a couple of months ago but now in After Effects. So someone commented on that video that he wants a more easier or an automatic tracker in Premiere Pro but that's not really possible in Premiere Pro so I replied to the comment that you can't really do that in Premiere Pro and the only way to do it is in After Effects. So today I decided to make a video to show you how to do that in After Effects. Yes, I know After Effects is much more complicated software than Premiere Pro, but don't be scared to try it because this tutorial is really easy. Even if you're a total beginner and you never tried After Effects before, you will be still able to do this. So let's begin. After you launch After Effects, you need to create a new composition. So we're going to go with the new composition from footage because we're going to use the video that we used in our Premiere Pro tutorial. So click on it, grab the video, click import and you automatically have a new composition. Now, uh, this video is longer and have parts that we don't need, so I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna come back. Now, when you're happy with your video, now go here on the empty space under the video, right click, go new, and then null object. Now, click here on your video and go on the right side of After Effects here, and you will find a tracker. If you can't find it here on the right side of After Effects, you're gonna go here on the Windows and then Tracker. But now we have it here, click on the video, we have tracker and then click on track motion. And a little box will appear here and that's the thing that we're going to track. So uh, remember that uh, you need to make the box big enough so uh, it fits the object that it needs to follow because it's much easier for After Effects to track it that way. So make it a little bit bigger, hold shift for a proportional and place it over your hand. After you place it on your hand, now you can click here on the play button under the tracker and that will automatically start tracking. But remember, it can go wrong so uh, you will still need to adjust it manually, but let's hope for the best. If it starts good and then just can't follow the hand, just click here on the stop button, readjust it a little bit and then continue. You can see here it lost the track a little bit, so click on stop, readjust it and then continue. When you're done, make sure that here under motion target, your null object is selected. If it's not, go here on edit target and under layer, select the null object and then click OK. And now you can click apply and OK. And now the null object is attached to your hand. But there's nothing moving with the hand. So let's create a text to go here on the empty space again, go new and then text. Type something, let's say tracker, make it a little bit bigger and place it above your hand. And now the last thing you need to do is to connect the text to the null object. To do that, grab this uh, swirly thing here, parent peak whip, and just connect it to the null object. And now you can see that the text is following the hand. And that's it. That's how you make an automatic tracker or a motion tracking in After Effects the easiest way possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, like it and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Until then, peace! Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you I will be more active now, so stay tuned. I hope I will be more active, yes?